Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Yakima Fresh Track 4 Ski and Snowboard Carrier here on our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. So if you guys are looking for a way of getting those snowboards and skis to your destination, this can be a very decent way to do so. So really simple design. All we have is gonna be those two rubber gaskets coming down, holding under our board and skis, making sure they get there safe and sound for ourselves. You guys can see here today on the Ford Bronco Sport, lots of clearance because of our clamp on style. So even right now, not too worried about my bindings interacting with the roof of our vehicle. One thing that's nice though, if you do run into that issue, you do have a nice integrated ski lift in the back that you can actually insert to actually get it lifted up out of the way, make a little bit more room for those bindings. But really do like the fit here on the Ford Bronco Sport. I think it's gonna be excellent for us trying to take our boards up to the slopes. Let's go ahead and start breaking down some of our features. Now we are boasting the 92.6 pound weight capacity. That's gonna be excellent for ourselves to get most of our skiing boards up there. Don't really think we're gonna be exceeding that by any means. And that's gonna be awesome because that actually is pretty well in line for Yakima's other fresh track as well, but also their Fat Cat Evo 4 and 6 is also gonna have that same weight capacity. Today, we could probably fit about four skis or two boards on here. Now I am gonna go ahead and give you guys that in usable dimensions later on in the video. So no have no fear. If you guys do have some wider skis and you're a little worried about that fit, you guys can start getting those actual measurements to make sure you guys have a good time getting them there. Now, one thing I will say though, um, I'm just kind of a bigger fan of a couple of the other snowboard and ski carriers out there. A, there are gonna be a couple other companies that are pretty much gonna be well within this kind of same system that I think just do it a little better. But Yakima itself actually has has um, the Fat Cat Evo 4 or Evo 6. Now those guys are pretty much the same design you're seeing here, but you get a little bit of better security and B, the big thing for me is gonna be these uh, kind of rubber gaskets that we're holding on to, right? Those holders on here are just a little hard, especially compared to a lot of the different carriers on the market. Now it's not terrible, it does a great job of securing it of course, but A, if you're really worried about your boards, you want something a little bit more supple to make sure we're not kind of degrading in our stickers or anything we have on there, that could be something to kind of look at, but B, I just like how it conforms better on the other ones. You can see we have these really big gaps here. Now it is still nice and sturdy and solid and secure, but it is something that I would kind of recommend. But the big thing for me is just the security feature. Right now, yes, it's nice that I can lock this. Nobody can come up and take my skiing boards, but if they really wanted to, all they had to do, start kind of undoing all of my screws here, my knobs, and then just take my entire carrier and all my boards and just break our carrier later and get them undone. So that's one thing I might suggest just for a little bit more security, but still, I think these are gonna be excellent for people just wanting to get your boards up there quick, no time at all. We're not too worried about it. We're not leaving our, um, our vehicle unattended that long. And again, if you're really worried about the carrier, once you get them unloaded, what's nice is it really doesn't take any time at all to use the quick disconnect, pop it off, and store it inside your vehicle. So we got pros and cons, but I'll leave that up to you guys. Let's actually go ahead and start seeing how we can get it installed. So to get this installed, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. One thing I really like about it, you really have one bolt set to kind of worry about. On the other side, you are gonna have this adjustable lever. So you can go ahead and put these in any of your positions. Now, for our aero bars we have on here today, I actually have to go to the lower setting. Now, the only other thing you might do different here, if you guys are having trouble, if you guys have some really large bindings on your boards or your skis, and they're having a little bit of issue getting towards that in center of your roof, you know where that roof kind of curves up, you may need to put in the integrated ski lift here that Yakima also gives you in the box. For today's purposes though, we're just gonna go ahead and put it on our flat position here. And I simply just wanna slot this over and start getting in position. Now, one thing I'll say, when I actually got the back ones installed, what I had to do was actually take out that lever like I showed you guys and actually insert it from the side, uh, trying to get it um, to kind of like go under, was interacting with the top of the roof just a little bit. But really, really easy just to pull it out and I got it slotted in. And then all we wanna do is simply turn our bolt as it is. We are gonna need to loosen this up just a little bit more, lefty loosey, righty tidy, of course, and then once I actually have this all the way in there enough, looks like I need just a little bit more. That's gonna actually allow me to turn this bolt. And we want that to be, if I can get it just a little bit more maybe, can take just a little bit. And all we need to do is turn that bolt just like so. And then see how it latches in there? Now it won't be moving right. Now I can re-tighten that up, righty tighty of course. Go ahead and start cinching here on our bar. So let's go ahead and repeat that process to the, on the inside one as well. So we're secure. Now, I wouldn't go too crazy on it as you can kind of get this a little tilted just by pinching too much on there. So really easy just to go ahead, get enough to where you're not having the shift, you know it's secure, it'll be nice and installed. Now that we have it all the way secured, we can start adding on our board and our skis. So 
To do that, I just simply walk it right up, of course, opening them by pushing that button. It's gonna get these guys to open. And I'm just gonna try to set it back here, not too far, because I don't wanna interact too much with that hinge. Give it a nice little double check there. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be good. Let's go ahead and grab our skis and throw them up as well. To add our skis, we just simply wanna walk it in, of course, watching where our bindings are. Now, I think we have a pretty good fit here on the Ford Bronco Sport. Our clamps and even our bars are doing a great job, giving us good clearance from our roof. Again, if you're having trouble, you probably would have to change out those backs mounts to actually get it tilted up, just to go ahead and give you a little bit more clearance. But now that those are on there, we just need to kind of watch these bindings as it comes down, making sure we're fitting in there well. And then we just simply latch it like that. So I really do like how many ridges we have here, really making sure sure we have a good secure fit. And one thing I'll say about this rubber, especially compared to a lot of other carriers in this style, this one is very kind of rigid. Doesn't really conform as well. Now, one thing that's great about it, it is <laughs> really doing a good job of securing it. Um, but I don't know, I kind of like the other ones a little bit better, um, almost across the board. These guys are just a little stiff in my mind, but again, they do a great job of holding on there. So we are nice and secure there. Well, as you guys saw, that installation really didn't take any time at all. Now that we're up here though, we can go ahead and start seeing how it's interacting here with our Ford Bronco Sport and how much opening we have to actually get our boards and skis on here. So what I really like is how much spacing we have here. This is gonna make it really easy, even if we are struggling with a little bit of the height of actually getting above our heads and on here, we don't have to watch our bindings, right? We can just go ahead, get our board here, set it in position, then start shifting it around. As you do have near abouts, eight inches of clearance there. So that's plenty, I think, for almost any of us at home to go ahead and actually get our skis and boards set on here. Then we can start adjusting them to our length. We don't have to get it perfectly every time, especially if you start comparing it to some of the other carriers in the market, like the Inno Gravity, which is a very similar model. It just seems a little bit smaller, a little harder to actually mount, so I do like that. The other thing I want to look at here, though, how much height are we adding on? So this is going to be just a little dependent upon your own roof rack at home, of course. So what we're going to do, take it from the top of our roof rack here today to the very top, and that is putting you right under five and a half inches there. So really not too much height that we're adding here. I like to see that. Um, let's go ahead and get that measurement just for ourselves, just to do it, how much height we're adding when it's fully open. And that's about 16 inches. So I don't think anybody's gonna really have too much trouble with this in their garage when they're loading up, but do kind of keep that in mind that the dimension is there for you. So we do have about 18 and a half inches of usable space for ourselves here on the Fresh Track 4. And because we could go ahead and supplement that we are gonna have about 10 inches extension with that Fresh Track 6, you are gonna have a about 28 and a half inches for that Fresh Track 6. So, one thing I do like about the Fresh Track 4 though, we still have the entire rest of our roof available to ourselves, right? So, that's kind of one advantage. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take everybody's snow and boards with us or snowboards with us or are their skis, but we still have access to put something like the Akama Skinny Warrior on the other side or a roof basket, something else just to go ahead and start getting a little bit of that cargo outside of our Ford Bronco Sport. Overall, this is a very decent way of getting your snowboard and skis to wherever you want to go. You do have a nice little set of actions here. I do like the quick connect system. The only thing with that though, like I said, not really secure on the top of your roof. I, at that point, if you are really worried about it, like I am, you could look at the Yakima Fat Cat Evo 4 and 6 as we mentioned. But if you are liking this system and you're not really too worried about that security, one thing I might suggest too is taking a look at the Rhino Rack Snowboard and Ski Carrier. It's basically the same system you're seeing here, a little bit more updated. I really like the gaskets and how they're just a little bit more supple, like I said, really conforming to our boards, but still getting a nice uh, fit. And even then, you actually do have a nice little T-slot attachment on those guys, which can be nice too. So I I might look at those or the Evo Fat Cat, but if this is what you guys are liking, it's still gonna do a great job. It'll hold on your boards, it'll get your skis there. You guys are gonna have a great time shredding those slopes. So I think that about does it for our look here today at the Yakima Fresh Track 4 on our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.